John, the, 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 the Filipino film critic Noel Vera said that there are actually three essential stories in film Sarah, the debt collector, um, and then it's the, the binary court, the chosen girl who has to remember that the epic love story, and then the general dilemma story. Is, is that correct? Is there another story? Uh, is there more than that, those three stories? That's pretty much um, how I also count it. But um, of course, making the film, there are a lot more stories in terms of like how process, how how I ma how I made the film, how I think I'm making uh, uh, I'm saying something about um, Philippine filmmaking uh, industry and how it is in, in and also how you pursue a dream or pursue a love. That's also counting it. So, but but those are pretty much the uh, narrative things. Right? But which story came first, though? I mean, I know that you 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 sort of do your, your, your stories organically. So, which story came first, and how did you relate one story to the next? Maybe the best way is to just tell you about the pro process. Um, from my second film, which was mainly mo uh, mostly documentary footage about what my father, which I felt that I had to do before moving on to other other films. Third film, um, I just uh, wanted to tweak an, uh, the process a little bit also. Um, in in this case, I wanted to challenge myself to to listen and to to listen again to people um, in terms of in terms of sound, of, in terms of the tone of their voices and uh, faces, which I find very at home with because growing up as a child, I I would imagine what people would be talking about from afar. So with this, I went far from home in a in a in a language that I don't speak, a dialect that I don't speak. So I was and, and and I didn't know anyone. So going to that place, I felt that um, I challenged myself: Is there really something uh, of a story that would resonate in me, knowing that I don't I don't do not understand what they're talking about, but I share something in which I can I, I'm open to. To sharing it with other people as I get to know them, so I went to Ililo in this in this place and just um, had a one one person to to work with who I instructed to just um, interact with people. It didn't matter what they were uh, talking about, and this was the lead the the, the, the lead character, which was really uh, a very hesitant. He hasn't acted or hasn't acted before. Um, hasn't been in, in front of a camera, and so it, it entailed um, spending a lot of time in the in the area. So um, as I just instructed her to to just interact and me shooting from afar, I get to imbibe the the, the atmosphere and how how they do things first, and um, spending time with other people in my off times. And uh, listening to stories about their myths and the, the myths that they believe in, the history, uh, the history of the place, and of course the uh, the war that happened um, during the American period. But um, this was in combination with uh, my own research of w where I where I am, who are the people that I'm I'm talking to, being a stranger, and in the process just um, having a bank. Of all, all those scenes, very random scenes. It didn't matter what they were talking about. It was just me, just shooting from afar, and then just threading them a little bit, um, rooting out of my own where I'm coming from, which is basically just want, pursuing a dream, pursuing someone, pursu pursuing uh, a thing, and just moving on to a journey. And in the process, in in that journey, just having other people view you as coming from point A to point B, um, in the process, revealing their, their own selves, uh, revealing their, their own um, needs. So they, they view as something so that um, you feel that need for them. But for me, this is just one character going to point, uh, to point B from point A. Let me try one more on you. Um, you know, this actually your title is a riff on the Nick DiCampo film, you know, and I think that that title was about um, how history sort of turns around and, and comes back. 
So, what were you thinking about when you wanted to riff on the Nick De Campo film? I borrowed a lot of things uh, making this film. I borrowed from from um, church songs. I borrowed from um, their own uh, stories. I borrowed from a title of a film, which is Revol "Revolutions Happen Like Refrains in a Song," which just goes, to, uh, which is a documentary that. Um, uh, from the title, it's saying that in the Philippines there was a time that there were a lot of coup d'etat in, 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 in one era. It just goes on and on, goes on like a song. I wanted to borrow from that and um, tweak it a little bit just to say that um, there are refrains happening in a song that that can mean refraining, like uh, that, um, stopping yourself from, or and also occurring every time. Just, 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 and in the process, and this, this, uh, this has a lot of um, undertones of a revolution, of a fight, of, of being in a crossfire every time. As people view us, you view you as an enemy or as an ally, as as something they know, as something that that can help them in in their in their own lives. Actually, what struck me about you know watching is that I didn't really get the film the first time when I saw it in in Rotterdam last year, and I had to see it again you know, tonight and. What struck me is that there are two essential stories. One, one is the story, the epic story of love, where you know you're supposed to remember love. But then you have the, the other story about war, because in the general Guillermo story, they actually have to ask the old people to remind um, the fight to the young. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, it, it's like those two stories are, are sort of the, the conflict, and the choice, rather. Especially now, that's also another thing that, like, um, um, like, 18-year-old um, voting population um, cannot remember anymore the, the the time when Marcos was still um, in the Philippines and when he was alive. They didn't even they don't even know Nino Aquino. Um, so um, it it also it just just um, talks about that also. And and I've been. Fortunate, unfortunate enough to live in the 70s and 80s to remember this, and this also like um, is is it also for me to say that um, I want to pass this story also to them or not? Um, it's also it's still a well, question. Well, come on, we like shy people. <laughs> yeah, uh, Okay. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I know you, uh, John. Uh, also, you like uh, play music, right? And even the title of the um, of your film, the third film, is using music as metaphor, like refrain. I'm curious when you you said that uh, you try to to come to the strange place and then you try to listen everything. Uh, what kind of sound and music? I mean, from from that place. You really uh, interested in doing your film. I mean, you record all the sounds like you know traditional singing or I don't know songs or stories. I find that I'm more open to a, a lot of a lot of uh, kinds of music actually. Um, from from my first film, which was basically uh, pieces from Eric Satie, um, piano pieces uh, performed by, by our colleague and friend, a filmmaker who did the music, to um, the second film which was more um, uh, played with um, indigenous instruments in the Philippines. Um, this was actually very, very important for me to, to be listening to Christmas uh, church songs. Uh, in, uh, um, most of us are Roman Catholics um, and I heard uh, the response, these are responsorial songs sung in a, in, a, in, a, in a church and I just happened to uh, imagine um, something far away from that but far away from but also very very similar to it um, so it, it really just um, it I, it doesn't really matter the genre of the, of the music it's just but it's very important to, to put me into this mode of in terms of editing in terms of pacing in terms of what I actually want to to say in a film I actually um, start off um, with with music as one of the first few elements to to uh, edit the film. GM. Hi. 
actually without (uh) like interaction or Q and A with you or your explanation how would you expect (uh) especially an international audience to understand your movie because it's like I kind of like it's like very rich in like Filipino tradition or culture or even you know poems or whatever I I don't know whether the Filipino themselves do actually comprehend the whole movie you know is that I mean you know. I actually like that. Um, if if you if you tie up comprehension with with things about the text, about uh, things you have to um, break down when it comes to words, into writing, into into what you say, it it it, it is one challenge. It is one one level of appreciation. But oh my God, it's it's very important for me to. Uh, well, it 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 had been um, very very encouraging for me for people to. To um, approach me and say, I don't know what just happened, but I think I I do, and that also is is so much beyond what what I I was expecting in terms of not only of this film but um, <laughs> other films. And so, thank you. Thanks, John, for really tremendously thought-provoking piece of work. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, I, I, two questions. The first is very quick. Could you clarify for us the, uh, the what you are pointing to with the use of the word Filipino in the last of the intertitles? Uh, the second question is, I suppose, more a formal one. And I'm wondering, uh, the, particularly the use of uh, oral tradition, um, oral storytelling tradition is a myth, uh, really indigenous myth, and how very contemporary modes, and you would have to say modern or modernistic modes of uh, storytelling with the moving image uh, come together in this work. And it makes me mindful of several other works, uh, you know, artists from elsewhere not too far from here, including Singapore actually. Um, and I just wonder whether, you know, without, I won't use the framing of Southeast Asia because that just tends to piss people off, but uh, are there any precursors for that formal juxtaposition that were in your mind while you were working on the film? Breaks down to really very, something very personal. Um, it is saying maybe, um, can you say something Without really um, listening to their words, um, I don't. I don't. It, it really just springs to that, and it, it was a challenge. It was a very personal, um, personal undertaking, and it is just that very, very humble. And first, the first question is really, what is Filipino? I don't really know what is Filipino. Um, I don't even. I don't know because it was also given to me that that uh, label also. Um, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot even begin to, to, you know, to to delineate what it is, um, but somehow I, I use it, and I don't know if it really is an accurate um, or a proper term to use. Yeah, I just wonder because there's, there's a sort of slippage between the historical. It's uh, everything is really like um, the, the 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 names are. Are bastardized, bastardized versions of all the actual um, historical figures. Um, everything, it, it, even their, their um, the, the 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 figures, uh, the, the 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 dates and the you know, the, the places. As I, as I said, this is a very personal thing that I I'm I you know I'm I'm making. Um, coming from what I saw, what I what I heard, what figures I, I read, so it was like even in Philippines they they say you have to you have to start from from this point and you have to start from from words even in proposals that you you sent to pitch to other to other funding agencies you have to start with a script you have to start with words. You have to start with an idea, um, and I say I I just do what I want, and um, I I'll see if, if it works in the end. There's a lot of there's a lot of points there that I didn't know 
if I was some, uh, I was going somewhere and uh, if this was amounting to something, but ju just the same, I would have enjoyed um, the process. You know, so. Any filmmakers want to ask something? Like I, I, I sorry, I, 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 I pity also. I, I, I also want to to listen to if if there are other Filipinos who who know the the, the language Hiligaynon, uh, uh, who uh, who will find it extra challenging to 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 follow which point you go with the text or with with the words that they hear and, and that they know. So that was. Uh, <laughs> I want to know if, if other people like understand what because if you know the language, it's tr it's it's so much different <laughs> from what what is being screened here. Sent here.